Care employees and volunteers are currently sorting through the boxes and boxes of donations given by the Oklahoma community in order to make welcome kits for the Afghan refugees. Oklahoma will soon be home to 1,800 Afghan refugees. 1,000 of those refugees will find a home in Oklahoma City, and some are already getting settled in. News 9's Erica Lee shows us how a local nonprofit is working to help them get established and what you can do to help. Care employees and volunteers are currently sorting through the boxes and boxes of donations given by the Oklahoma community in order to make welcome kits for the Afghan refugees. Yeah. Volunteers say they are doing everything they can to make sure the 1,000 refugees have the essentials that they need. While only three families have arrived, we know that we're going to be expecting quite a, a large number of folks coming in in the next few weeks. And so our goal is to have everything in readiness when they land so that there's no uh, waiting. Each welcome kit will contain clothes, masks, hygiene products, and more. They're also getting a backpack with, with different supplies in it. And we've got, we're giving uh, prayer rugs and Qurans and uh, things that will make people feel more at home as well. With donations pouring in, it's important to sort through each item by size, group, and occasion. But volunteers say they're shorthanded and need all the help they can get. All this stuff is going to be here regardless. Just if there's not enough people here, we're not going to get anything done and it's not going to get to the families where it needs to be. Habrock says each family typically has an average of seven to eight people and that they will be expecting around 200 more families. That's why they say it's important to be understanding of their situation. And, you know, we have to be empathetic because, uh, you know, a lot of them left and they may never see their parents again or their cousins or friends. CARE is not accepting any new donations until next Wednesday, but if you'd like to volunteer, we'll have the form on News9.com. Erica Lee, Oklahoma Zone, News9.